Hello artist and welcome. Today we will continue working in the sculpture studio. Last time we worked with cardboard. Today we will be sculpting using both cardboard and paper. We are going to be making puppets. The puppets will vary in different sizes, shapes, and colors. For your puppet, we want to see a character with a body, head, details, and secure attachments. The materials that we are going to use today are colored paper or white paper, tape, scissors, a cardboard stick or popsicle stick, cardboard tubes or paper tubes, glue stick, glue bottle, a pencil, cardboard, crayons or markers, and different types of little attachment materials and decorations such as feathers, pipe cleaners, buttons, toothpicks, or googly eyes. Use what is available to you at your home. Your materials may look the same or different from the ones in the video. Today I'll show you two different ways that you can make a puppet. You get to choose what puppet style you want to create. First, envision an idea for a character. Then, choose your materials. Wrap the cardboard tube in paper or color on it to decorate the body. If you don't have a toilet paper tube or a paper towel tube, you can actually make a roll tube out of paper. You'll need paper and a glue stick. What you will do is take your paper and you're going to roll it into the shape of a circle or cylinder. You're going to want to roll it around a few times so that it's nice and sturdy. When you get to the end, take out your glue stick and glue about an inch into the tube, just like I did. And then you'll roll it around and you'll hold it for 20 seconds. And voila, you have your paper tube that you can start creating with. Next, draw the head shape and details on paper. Then, cut it out. Next, attach the head to a popsicle stick or a long cardboard strip. And then, tape it to the inside of the tube. Or, attach the head using slits cut into the sides of the tube. Be sure that your puppet is balanced and can stand upright. First, envision an idea for a character. Then, choose your materials. Next, create your puppet's body. We recommend using cardboard to make the body. Thin cardboard is easiest to cut out, such as a cereal box. If your cardboard is thicker, Try using shapes with mostly straight lines. Your puppet could also be a single piece of cardboard. Next, add your details to your puppet body. You can use drawing, collage, and even craft materials. For attaching details, you can glue or tape the pieces together. You can even use toothpicks. If you have details that need to be attached with glue, use a glue stick for attaching paper and use a glue bottle for heavier items such as cardboard, googly eyes, or buttons. You can sculpt paper to create details as well. Let's quick go over a few different paper techniques. To make a fringe, fold your strip in half the long way. so that you have a visual line. Then you're going to cut only on one side of the line, like this. So see how it's only on one side? You only, you want to do this so that you don't cut through to the other side. You can also have 
thick or thin fringes depending on how you space out your cuts. To make a fan fold, take your strip and fold it forwards and backwards like an accordion. So here we're going to go forward and then we're going to go backwards, forwards, going to lift that up a little and then we can go backwards. Try to fold it the same size, like a pattern. If it helps, you can even say it all out loud. Now, let's go over curl. Here is an example of a curl. You can have a thick curl like this, or you can have a tight curl like this. To do that, you're going to grab a pencil or a pen, then you're going to take your strip of paper, and you're going to roll it around it. And then you're gonna take it off and then you should have your curl. You can also make a curl by rolling up your strip of paper, just like this. The last technique I'll show you is a tab. Tabs are ways that we can hold things together. Here's an example of a tab. So tabs are these parts right here. They are used, you can, they are used to hold things down like this. An example for on one of our puppets would be here. So if you notice how there's a little tab on the arm here, that is what tabs are used for. To make a tab, you're going to take your strip or whatever piece of paper and you're going to fold the end either inward like this or outward. And that'll be the spot where you put the glue. Once your puppet has a body and details, you can attach them to a stick or strip of cardboard with glue or tape. Be sure that your puppet is secure and that no pieces are falling off. Here's one example of the tube body puppet. See how Ms. Cutterly drew on her puppet with marker and pen. She also used pipe cleaners for arms and then did fringe for hair on top. Next, here is my bunny creature. See how I used sequins for the eyes and I slotted my cardboard head into the cardboard body. I also used tabs for all of the arms and legs. Next, Ms. Cutterly made a dragon with a paper tube body. Notice how she made slits and slotted the head together. She also used tabs for all of the body parts. Here is one of my puppets. See how I used loops for her hair and then used toothpicks to attach her body and then added a fringe onto the dress. Here is Miss Cutterly's example of a puppet on the stick. She cut out pieces of cardboard for the clothes and the body, attached them with glue, and then colored on her character with crayon. For your puppet, we want to see a character with a body, head, details, and secure attachments. I can't wait to see what you create. See you next time, artists.